Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Mike and I were just taking a look at some of the temperatures in the weather center. We were saying hot dogs, pool, lemonade. That's right. All that good summer just stuff. Keep hydrated, that's right? That's right, because it's going to be humid out as well. It is. That's right. Temperatures this weekend will be in the 90s. Take a look at the trend right now, and it looks like we are looking at a day tomorrow in the 80s, and then it really starts to ramp back up into the 90s over the weekend. Humidity also starts to go up, but it's good grilling weather and it's summertime, right? We are looking at uh, some summertime conditions right now across our area, and that's going to be the story not only starting this weekend, but I think for most of next week as well. Very latest on our radar shows pretty quiet conditions across the Waco area, but you notice the stationary front just to our north. That's allowing a little bit more moisture kind of creeping up from the south, but again, nothing has been hitting the ground. As we take a closer look here, you can see a couple of streamers. There's one over to our southwest and another one uh, to the south as you work your way down through the uh, Round Rock area, seeing a little bit right now. In the way, there's some showers, and it's been on again, off again, down toward parts of Llano County, over toward Burnett, where they're still looking at a uh, you know, watch. We've got a severe thunderstorm watch still in effect down there until 11 o'clock. So still not out of the woods yet. I can tell you we've had a couple bands already moved through. Uh, which definitely has kind of weakened as it pushed off to the east. Now, temperature-wise, it is 77 degrees right here in Waco, 75 in Mahia, 77 Temple, 76 Colleen, and over toward Gatesville right at 77 degrees. So here's what I expect this evening. There's that stationary front, and this is at midnight tonight. As we go overnight, we're going to try to watch maybe a complex of storms out west try to move through. Again, this is our in-house computer model, and that's what it's forecasting right now. A couple other models are kind of a little bit lighter on that rainfall. But as we start the day tomorrow, it does look mostly cloudy. And as we go throughout the day tomorrow, about a 30% chance of a scattered shower or thunderstorm. I'm not expecting any severe weather here in our region. By 5 o'clock in the evening, again, temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s. And then late Friday night into early Saturday. We'll stop it at midnight there. We'll watch a few more clouds try to move in. We're going to watch basically some higher clouds from the west begin to push in. So as we start the day on Saturday, temperatures in the 70s, so you know it's going to be a little humid out there with those readings. And then throughout the day, temperatures will climb into the upper 80s and lower 90s. A stray shower can't be ruled out, especially with the heat of the day, but I think most of us may miss out on that meaning I wouldn't cancel any of your plans on Saturday as well as Sunday. Tonight, though, increasing clouds, about 67 degrees the low. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. There's that 30% chance of showers and storms. Again, our in-house model showing in the morning. Somebody might see one in the afternoon, but uh, other areas may not see anything. About 86 degrees will be the high. And then as we look ahead, there's your weekend forecast. Again, the first weekend in June. 91 on Saturday, 92 degrees on Sunday, just slight chances of rain. And we're going to keep that weather pattern in here right through the start of next week. Look at that, all those low to mid 90s for highs. Our rain chances are not the best. They're hit and miss because of the humidity. And down toward Bryan and College Station. Again, best chance will be tomorrow. As we hit the weekend, Renee, we're looking at mid 90s for highs. Lows will be in the 70s.